line is that I received gender affirming therapy when I was seeking mental health therapy. The debate on transgender care for minors lasted more than two hours in a Senate committee hearing. Good evening. Thank you for joining us here on the News at 10. I'm Shira Matsuzawa. House Bill 71 is now on the Senate floor. The bill would make it illegal to treat minors facing gender dysphoria with surgery or hormones. Andrew Bartline followed the testimony for us today. Andrew, we heard a lot of debate from both sides. And it got the attention of the State Judiciary and Rules Committee in the Senate. After two hours of testimony, the committee debriefed for another 20 minutes themselves. They ultimately decided to move the bill onto the Senate floor, but leave it open for amendments. They call this general orders. Republican Representative Bruce Skog initially introduced this bill back in February. It passed the House by a 58 to 12 vote, but the Senate has more questions. After testimony in committee today, Republican Senator Dan Foreman saw flaws in the bill and made the original motion because he and other Republicans feel the bill has more room for improvement about the specific language in the bill largely due to a conversation that surrounded parental rights. Parental rights are important in Idaho. Um, we, we try to protect those, but we also have child protection laws um, that apply to that. So we're always trying to find the right balance of respecting both of those things. Um, and I want to make sure that we're not doing permanent harm um, to our children, but I'll support the original motion to send it to the amending order. I also think a pair of Democrats on committee that includes Senator Melissa Wintrow and Senator James Recti opposed the bill. Senator Wintrow substitute motion to hold the bill in committee and Recti offered an instant second. The Democrats argued that through expert testimony today, it showed children with gender dysphoria are first instructed to practice a new gender before there's any formal treatment, meaning children are not being pushed into treatments. Additionally, Senator Wintrow says transition surgery is not happening to minors in Idaho, so she defaults to letting parents handle their own children. I do not want to interfere with what is going on in somebody's family. I know the complexities of my own family growing up, and I would not have appreciated anyone telling me how that should go. Now, that doesn't speak to the intent of the bill, but the outcome of it, I think, is profound. Senator Wintrow's motion to hold the bill did receive support from Republican Senator Linda Wright Hartkin. She says the whole committee believes in parental rights and they should be consistent with that stance, not only when it suits their predetermined beliefs. It's unclear what this final bill will look like if the Senate decides to add amendments to change the bill's language. The amending process is open ended, Shira. It could change the bill entirely. It could change the bill hardly at all. But if the bill is amended and passed by the Senate, well, then the House would have to also approve those amendments before this bill would go forward to Governor Brad Little's desk. All right, Andrew Bartline, thank you for breaking that down for us tonight.